You can't wait until life isn't hard anymore before you decide to be happy. When you get older, your wild heart will live for younger days. Think of me if ever you're afraid. He said one day you leave this world behind. So live a life you will remember. hey people welcome to another video in this video i'm going to be taking you through some of the activities i did before i left balchi so basically my last days in balchi state and one of them was to visit an orphanage so i my friends fellow core members and compound mates <laughs> decided to visit an orphanage in balchi state the beautiful thing about this is that i actually had this on my bucket list of places i was going to visit before i leave Bauchi state and when the opportunity came up to visit of course i jumped on it so this is kings kings is the person that you know organized this whole thing i said come let's go and visit these children and it was really an amazing um experience we got to meet them um they introduced themselves to us and of course we realized that some of them were actually bearing our names and they were fun they were happy they were excited to see us and i think it just meant a lot to me <laughs> i don't know how to explain it but I, I just know my heart was just you know all over the place that day so we got to introduce ourselves before any other thing this is also her name is deborah where is she? I'm there. Where her. is she now? She's not here. She's I'm there. Uh. <laughs> All right. My name is Justice. You can call me JJ for short. My name is Naomi. Wow, where is she? She's in the kitchen. All right. Send my gas in case she doesn't make it to this place. My name is. Oh, my name. <laughs> my name is Ishaya Isaac Ibrahim. My name is quite complicated, but I hope you get it. Yamana. Yamana Shamaki. Elijah is the name. Elijah. Elijah. My name is Pet Long Darkling. Nice to meet you. If you're happy and you know you clap your hands. If you're happy and you know you clap your hands. If you're happy and you know and you really want to show. If you're happy and so after introductions we prayed with them we had conversations with them we reminded them of god's love for them which is very important <laughs> and of course we got to play with them engage them with act in activities basically and you know just be there to even answer questions that they may have as well so we shared or we brought um, the edible things rather than we brought we took pictures and videos with them and of course we headed home okay so i wanted to show you my face so that you people know that i also came because nobody was snapping me as per i was a camera woman <laughs> but yeah so we headed home and yeah it was really an amazing visit how much is kilo of goat is it big i'm not sure it's big it's big now it's better than let me see
So this was the same day as the orphanage day and I just changed my wig and waited for a ride to come. So my friend actually invited me for this wedding because the guy is her church member but I did not know the guy, I did not know the bride but you know what? We went because of course I wanted to experience it. So this was what the place was looking like. It was empty, people hadn't come and we just sat somewhere and just waited to see like what would happen. Alright. So basically this is my friend that invited me and this is someone we just met there and we're just riding right okay so finally the groom and bride came and they had to do this match pass thing first um to usher them in which looks weird to me because after this they now told the couple to come out and let them dance with the um, bridal train so they had to go back outside again to come in with the bridal train i was like what's the stress but yeah so i had to stand up you know and go and join them because i was not getting good angles and like good view of like the couple themselves and i wanted you guys to see it so i joined them in dancing you know and filming as if okay i knew anybody but <laughs> i sure i had to get content for you guys to see so this was um basically how the wedding was it was dancing spraying of money and stuff like that so but you know the most painful part of this wedding for me is the fact that they do not they refuse to give us food me and my friends apparently because they said oh that we were sitting where we we're not supposed to sit that it was for the umu something something i don't know one village community but anyway i got mauled and yeah that was it it's done <laughs> one of the things i really miss about Bauchi is the people i saw people that were really nice wanting to help you and people that are really content with like where they are what they have um yeah they really don't like growth and new things right but yeah i saw the contentment and of course i will definitely miss the cheap lifestyle because here food is cheap housing is cheap like you can't even compare you can literally get good land here and of course i will meet the people that i was able to connect with here in bauchi state i will definitely miss them <laughs> and i hope we meet again someday i will also miss the people that i was able to impact you know here in bauchi state and yeah so do make sure to catch up on the playlist of my bauchi experience